What's up guys? It's Wally. Welcome back to episode 12 of our Realistic Quarterback Superstar Series. After our biggest win of the season last week against the Lions, we have a huge matchup against our division rival Carolina Panthers as we look to close in on the 7th seed. So we are coming off our best game of the season, and that is against the Lions where we won 38-20. Now, we definitely ran for more than we actually threw for, but we still accounted for five total touchdowns. And that's extremely nice considering the fact that we've had a pretty lackluster rookie season. So to be able to get all those yards and all those touchdowns and be able to come out with a victory and keep our playoff hopes alive is extremely nice. Now, speaking of playoff hopes, we did keep ours alive, like I said, and we are now, I believe, only about a half game back and now with a lot less teams than we had last week uh, to be able to get that seventh spot. Uh, the downside is, we are unfortunately facing a team who is the second in the NFC, and yes, second in our division as well. That's because the Falcons and the Panthers are just absolutely killing it. And I know I said at the beginning of the season too, when we faced the Panthers, I thought they were going to be a pretty easy team. But look at them now, man. 9-3 and three and absolutely killing it. More than likely going to end up getting a playoff spot for sure. Uh, but if we look down here, the Rams currently hold the seventh spot, and the Niners are right there with them too at 6-6. Six and six, But look at that. The Saints right there, right behind them with a 5-6-1 record. So we're still a half game out, but again, less teams they have to deal with. We have to deal with the Rams, we have to deal with the Niners. Don't know if we end up playing them at all this season, but we're still going to try to hope that the teams that they do play end up beating them and we can end up coming out uh, on top of the both of them. Now I know the Rams and the Niners do play in the same division, so I'm sure they're going to have to play each other uh, at least one more time this season. Uh, hopefully two more. Hopefully they haven't faced each other. And if they can split and we can win the two weeks that they end up splitting, uh, then we actually have a good shot of coming out on top of either of them. So we need to keep winning. Uh, we are a half game back now, but four weeks from now, we could be four and a half games back or be three and a half games ahead. Who knows? But we will definitely see over the coming weeks. But for now, we need to focus on this week because this is going to be a really tough one. Like I said, the Panthers are at the top of our division, at least up there with the Falcons at 9-3. and three. So they are doing really well. And a large part of that success has been the fact that Bryce Young has developed into a really good quarterback. I mean, he's at 2,700 yards, 19 touchdowns, and only 7 interceptions. They definitely picked the right quarterback in the draft, at least in this simulation. And he is doing really well. Um, in terms of their rushing, they almost have a 900-yard rusher. Miles Sanders got 4 touchdowns. But he got Hubbard there with uh, 236 yards, but seven touchdowns. Definitely looks like more of a, uh, a goal line uh, player. But Bryce Young, of course, with 199 and three touchdowns himself. So you do kind of have to worry about a couple of running backs and a mobile quarterback as well. And the receivers, Thielen, of course, they're at the top with 783 and seven of their touchdowns. And plenty of other guys that allow Bryce Young to have a lot of really good targets. Now, in terms of their defense, though, looks like Shaq Thompson, of course, is leading their defense here with 59 tackles, way ahead of everyone else in terms of solo tackles. And Luvu's got 11 tackles for loss. Of course, Thompson has six, plenty more from the rest of them. Uh, we are going to have to worry uh, from a rush standpoint. So the thing that we didn't have to really worry about with the Lions, with their rush, because they didn't have plenty of sacks on the year, uh, we're going to have to really worry about from the Panthers here, because they have two guys with six sacks. Luvu's got four and a half, Thompson's got three and a half, you know, and plenty of other guys with, with a couple as well. Uh, in terms of interceptions, have to worry about Xavier Woods, of course. He's got five interceptions and plenty of guys with a few. So do have a plenty of guys to worry about there in the secondary. And I'm sure a couple there, obviously, like Thompson, some of their linebackers, are going to have to worry about that too. So I think it's going to be a really tough game. Uh, again, the Panthers have been really, really good this season. So trying to get a win off of them, especially considering the fact that they are one of the best in our division and one of the best in the league, it's going to be a little tough. But let's get into the activities here and let's see if we can get a couple good boosts to be able to take on the Panthers. So even though practice was a little more successful this week over last week, uh, we don't have as many boosts as we had last game. Uh, we have a plus three to our throw power, which honestly is really great. I think we're going to be able to zip the ball in a little bit quicker. Uh, plus three to our strength and plus two to our speed. And that's going to be uh, extremely beneficial, especially considering the fact that I feel like we're going to have to probably break out of the pocket a little bit, especially with some of the good pass rushers that they have. Now, the surprising thing is that they are 9-3 and, and only an 80 overall. We are a plus one on them in terms of overall, but definitely minus plenty of games in terms of standings. 
Uh, they are a good team, though, despite the fact that they're an 80 overall. So hopefully we can go in and actually pick up a win on them because we definitely need it to stay alive in the playoff picture. They don't necessarily need it unless they really want to win the division, which I totally get it. They are actually really close to a number one seed. But really, again, we need it the most because we might not make the playoffs. Now, it's funny. I talked about it in the last game with the Lions, how you know, the Lions had totally clinched the NFC North, but we're still only 4-7 and seven in the game, and of course after facing us, 4-8. and eight. So seeing them, you know, kind of be so different in this simulation compared to real life is so crazy. But you also see that with the Panthers, too. I mean, the Panthers are one of the, I, I believe they are still hold the worst record in the league right now. So they are the worst in the league, but here in the simulation, they're one of the best. It's kind of crazy how video games and life are so different. So Carolina started with the ball in this game and only came away with field goal. So that's really good for us. So we need to come out. We need to make a statement here and let's see if we can actually grab a lead. And the way we do that is by establishing the run. I had a little problem and it wouldn't let me hike the ball. And so we got to delay a game penalty. So now we got a first and 15. But again, we're still going to establish the run here. Trust Camara. Finds a nice hole there and ends up getting up to a second and ten. Nice, that would have been a nice second and five, but now it just seems like we just lost it down, so we're okay here. Second and ten. I feel like we can actually pass for this one now. Let's kind of let's kind of test it here. Let's see if we can get some good yards. Maybe we can hit Thomas on the out. Through a little late, but jumps up and unfortunately gets deflected. Oh yeah, thrown over to Xavier Woods. Kind of what we said we didn't want to do in the beginning of the game. Here we go, third and ten. We just need to pick up the first down here. Oh, and they're sending a lot of people. <sighs> Including their star linebacker, Brian Burns. So that's a little tough. Fourth and 20, and that is a quick three and out. Not the way you wanted to start against a team that is one of the best in the league right now. Thankfully, the defense answered right back by being able to get the ball back without giving up a score. So we're on our 20-yard line. Uh, we're going to go back with a run, though, because we obviously did not have much success in the air on that last one. So I tried to establish this, and unfortunately, he got through the block. But Kamara still plows ahead for an extra two yards. And that was one that I thought was definitely going to be a TFL, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take the couple yards. We got a second and eight here. Running across the way. Beautiful. Pick up an extra five on that. Now we have a third and manageable. Oh, no one's out on Kamara. No one's out on Kamara. I might just throw the ball deep. There he is. No one was on him. Let's go. Busted coverage. And Kamara gets in for a touchdown. Oh, man. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. That is the first time that I have seen someone just not cover him on the outside like that. At least the first time that I've actually seen it. It's possible it's happened before and me just kind of tunnel visioning on what's, you know, tunnel visioning on what's happening. Totally missed it. That's the first time I saw that. And thankfully, he's able to get out there for a score. 73 yards for a score. But of course, Carolina was not happy about that and ended up kind of doing the same thing on their drive. So, unfortunately, we don't uh, we don't keep the lead, but we still are uh, in control here. We're in the second quarter already, and we are only down by three against one of the best teams in the league. So, I feel really confident about this. Oh, what a move! What a move! That's what I'm talking about. It only went for four yards, don't get me wrong. But still, that was a really great move there. Second and six now. Let's see if we can hit someone for a first down. All of them are going to be at about a point for a... No way! Wow, I need to see the replay of that because he... Oh, it's Xavier. No, no... No wonder why. Oh my goodness, man. Did he undercut that? Wow! Hold on. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe that. That was just a great defensive play, man. I can't do much about that, unfortunately. Man, that is that is bad for us, but you know what? Can't do much. We just got to hope that the defense kind of holds them. And they hold them to a field goal, at least. So that means we're still within one possession. So if we're able to score a touchdown here, we will be in the lead. So let's see if we can make that happen. And that starts by giving the ball to Kamara. You know who really hasn't gotten a rush this game, though? This good old number 24 there, who just threw a phantom block at no one. 
And Luvu's out for it. Oh no. That's good for us. But bad for them. But it looks like he's probably going to be back pretty soon though. He's not going to the locker room. So let's go with the play action on this one. And let's see if we can kind of fake him out here. Especially since we have it first and ten. Lead him out there. What a grab again to Alave. He has just been a big playmaker for us. As always. But let's go. Big gainer right there. And only on four completions. We have 127 yards in the air. Look at that perfectly thrown ball. That is a perfect spiral. Oh, and hit him almost right in stride too. He had to go back a little bit, but still. That's perfect. And now we're in the red zone. And in a perfect space for Kamara to be able to pound it up the middle here. Oh, finds a hole to the right. And Kamara with this, I don't know how many rushing touchdown of the season. But there we go. I know we've been taking a lot of those rushing touchdowns. But no, Kamara just finds some space and ends up getting in there. My dude. Man, we need to rely on him a little bit more. Way to go, Cap. My dude. And so we're able to finish it with a run by Kamara. And we do take the extra point to be able to take the lead. And now with two minutes left. A little over two minutes left in the half. We do have a one-point lead with the ball. So we need to find a way to hold on to this. And again, by that, we're going to have to run the ball. Granted, they are kind of stacking the box here. But I have faith. Kamara found some holes last time. He's going to do it again. Finds one for four yards. So let's run it one more time, and then we'll take it down to the two-minute warning. Oh my goodness. Is that another touchdown? No way! Let's go! Kamara! He doesn't even need us! Kamara doesn't even need us! That is his second rushing touchdown. Not just of the game, but second in his last three rushes. My guy, look at him. And he breaks this tackle coming across the way. Man. Yeah, man, they have a great secondary in terms of defending the pass, but defending the run? <sighs> Kamara definitely torches them. I can't believe that. But we end up getting the score there, but unfortunately... That gave Carolina enough time to be able to come back and score themselves. So we do only have 34 seconds. And hopefully we can score here one more time before the end of the quarter. Which is also the end of the half, coincidentally. So let's see if we can get some yards here. I'm sure they're going to protect deep, though. They'll come out throwing here on first down. But they're not going to be able to protect from my run. Let's go. Gets out there. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, I didn't see the I didn't see the cornerback on the left side there. But yeah, he ended up taking me out pretty well there. But let's see if we can get some more yards here. Back to throw now on first down. No, I did Oh, that's into double coverage That was not the button that I wanted to press. And that wobbler goes right into the hands of Bell. And that is our second interception of the game. Unfortunately, one that came at the end of the end of the half and might lead to at least a field goal. So hopefully our defense can continue to hold them. And it looks like it was uh, another turnover. And you know what? Just so we don't throw our third interception of this game, let's just kneel the ball and let's just go into half. And we'll see you guys in the half number two. Not the best way to end the half, but at least we start the second half with the ball. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to hold the lead and get the ball back at the beginning of the second half. So thankfully we were able to do that. And so we're going to start here with a run up the middle. Because Kamara's been doing great and he's just been killing it on the ground too. We haven't, need, we haven't needed to run the ball really much ourselves. We've only had two. But he's got seven for 104 and two touchdowns. All right, we're going to send two streaks, two outs, and then hopefully we can actually find Kamara across the middle. Here's a second and seven. We are. If we were able to be accurate. That ball was a little far and a little high, and unfortunately not in the reach of Kamara. So now we are facing a third and seven, which is unfortunate. Oof. But... We might be able to break out to the right here and get a first down with our feet. Nope, because they sent the blitz and I did not see Bell coming through. That was dumb on my part. I was looking to the left, he was coming from the right, and that is why I was not a quarterback in high school. Unfortunately, our drive ended and theirs ended with a field goal. So we are now down by a quick field goal. A little less than a field goal. We're down by a safety. 
So let's get the ball back to Kamara. No use throwing for our fourth we'll interception. First See, because look at that. Kamara just getting another first down. And down he goes. I don't know why we're trying to throw the ball too much. We've had great success on the ground. So you would think that that would open some things up in the air, but... Oh! Kamara! Breaks through! Let's go! Dude, he totally broke away from his defender there. And he was able to get up there. Yeah, he had a good couple steps. Like, look at this. I know you're not going to see him be able to break away, but look how many steps he has on him. I can't believe... You put a linebacker on Kamara, though. Come on. Yeah, he's definitely going to burn you, especially if he's running up there. So now we do have it back in the red zone. So let's be smart and actually go for the runs again. Uh, if we go for a halfback dive here, I think Kamara might be able to get his third touchdown of the game. Ooh, squeeze through a tight hole up there and was only able to get two yards. Second and eight. I don't even know who we're going to be able to hit on this one. It's going to be no one. It's going to be ourselves in the end zone, baby. Let's go. Yeah, they could not defend the run at all. They just had a wide open lane up the middle, and we are able to take advantage of that. Just run straight up there, completely, like, look at him, not even paying attention. And there's no one, no one in the center of the field to be able to stop us. And we are able to break away. That is our third rushing touchdown of the game for the team, and our first for our quarterback. Let's go. And, oh my goodness, somehow, we were able to come away without giving up a touchdown. So we're holding a lead in the fourth quarter. We need to keep this lead. Oh, they are definitely kind of stacking here, but we're still going to run. Again, they have not been good at stopping the run. And that just continues. Kamara getting up there for a first down, but Michael Thomas coming out with an injury. Please don't go to the, please don't go to the locker room. Okay, good. So he might be coming back soon. All right, let's go into a pass formation here, but maybe we break this out ourselves. Oh, they just sent the house, and that allowed us to throw to Olave for another first down. So now first and ten again. We're going to go back into a pass formation, and we're going to run oh up the middle. But no, he broke away from his block and unfortunately was able to kind of hit us. So despite the fact that they have a lot of guys on that side of the field, we're going to run to the right here because let's burn some more clock. In fact, come back in five seconds, and we'll hike the ball. Welcome back. Time to hike it. There we go. And some good yards, too. That's enough. Oh, not quite for the first down. But gets up there, and now we're third and one. Their total defense season rank is first. And we are just giving it to them right now. When in doubt, you go with the quarterback power, baby. We ended the Lions with this one. So let's see if we can do the same thing to Carolina. Nice. We break through, and we get that first down. Only 35 yards, but that's on four rushes. That is not bad. We got to keep this going here. First and 10. Again, we just got to be smart with the ball. No unforced turnovers. So let's try, try to get it on our feet. We get two yards. We'll take that, and we stay in bounds, too. Never mind. No, we don't. We get pushed out of bounds. I thought we were down in bounds. So we got a second and eight here. Maybe we can hit a lave on the out here. Yep, we sure do. We lead him enough, and he's able to get the first down as well. And we are just chewing as much clock as possible here. So first and ten, we're letting the clock run a little bit. And we're going to hike it. And we get stuffed in the backfield. That's a TFL for sure. So now we're second and twelve. And sorry, I, I know that just sitting here and kind of wasting the clock and everything is a little boring. And I know I want it to be a little more entertaining of a video. However, again, we are facing one of the better teams in the league in this simulation. We are up, and we're only a half game out of a playoff spot. So I really want to make sure that we're able to get a dub here. And that's the most important thing to me. So we're going to let the clock run for a little bit more. Uh, we might try to break out ourselves. Kamara might be open in the flat over here too. Uh, but either way, we are not going to turn the ball over. That is going to be the biggest thing. Break out! Nope. Unfortunately, we get sacked. And Luvu, who was injured earlier this game, obviously isn't injured enough to not sack us. So unfortunately, now we have a third and 21. And we got a third and 21. So all we need to do is really just get some more yards and hopefully we can get in the field goal territory. So I think the best thing to do is go for the screen here and hopefully Kamara can pick it up. He gets it. Good blocks. 
comes back across the middle of the field and gets back to a fourth and 10. That gets it to the 40, which would be a 57 yard field goal. Now, I don't think that Lutz is going to be able to hit that, but this is going to bring us down to the two minute warning. And I wonder if coach is going to punt or if he's going to go for the field goal. It looks like coach punted. And unfortunately, Carolina ended up scoring. And now we are down by one with seven seconds to go. We need a miracle. He's back to throw. And that is not going to do it. We're going to call one more timeout. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Good luck, but again, we need a busted coverage or a miracle here. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. Come on, Alave. I feel the... I feel I've tried... Oh. I had faith, but unfortunately it gets swatted away. And what should have been, what should have been a win against a team at the top of our division ends up being a one-point loss at the end of the game. Now, I spoke a couple weeks ago about heartbreakers, and that is definitely one of them. We we're leading most of that game, and unfortunately, just not able to come out on top. We lose by one to one of our division rivals. And unfortunately, that might put us a game and a half. A game and a half out of a wild card spot. Which would mean we would need to win out to have a chance. Now looking at player stats, we were only 8 of 13. Uh, for 200 yards though, one touchdown, two costly interceptions. But really the attempts were so low because we really didn't have to pass the ball too much. Really, we stayed on the ground. Camara was huge on the ground. 12 for 141, averaged almost 12 a carry. Had two touchdowns, we were 5 for 37, 7.4 average, not bad, and a touchdown ourselves. Obviously, it was our running game that really kind of did it for us, uh, but we turned to our passing because we wanted to pad our stats a little bit, and unfortunately, you see what happens when we do that. Now, we only ended up hitting three receivers, Alave 4 for 71, Kamara 3 for 124 in that touchdown, mainly because he found himself open because of that busted coverage and ended up having that 73-yard reception. And then Traquan Smith ended up having 1 for 5 uh, on that one uh, uh, cut across the field there. And that was really nice. We, we know we can always count on him for at least one of those that game. Unfortunately, only three receivers. We only, again, threw the ball 13 times. And that, unfortunately, was not enough to put us out of range of having them be able to come back and win. And that, unfortunately, is why they are 9-3 and three and now 10-3 and three this season. It's because they're able to come back and put together last-minute drives. And unfortunately for us, that's part of the reason why we're on the outside looking in. is because we have not been able to close out games. We've had multiple games where we've had the ball on the last drive and not been able to put together a game-winning drive to be able to win. And those are all pretty much one-possession games, too. So it's unfortunate, but... Uh, Fortunately, it happened again, and I think that's going to be the story of our rookie season. So we ended up facing a better pass defense, and we definitely got exposed with that. Uh, we definitely should have kept going with the run game because Camaro was doing incredible. Uh, we even had some really good runs ourselves, but unfortunately, we decided to go to the air a little bit, and two picks later, uh, we ended up losing it. Our defense kind of gave it away in that last drive with a couple minutes left in the fourth, uh, which put them up by one, but... Unfortunately, those last seven seconds, we couldn't do it. So unfortunately, we do end up with the loss, and we are going to have a really difficult road to be able to get back into the playoffs. We're going to have to win out, and even then, we're not guaranteed to make the playoffs. So we really need to just try our best, and hopefully we'll have some pretty easy games coming up. So it looks like week 15, we're going to have our third straight home game, and it's going to be against the Giants. So... Uh, hopefully we're not going to have as tough a time against the Giants as we did against the Panthers. And again, we're really going to have to win out. And it looks like Week 16 we're going to be facing the Rams. That's one of those teams that's right on the bubble to be able to get a playoff spot. So Week 16 we're going to have to put a bookmark in that one because that one's going to be an extremely, extremely pivotal game. But next week we're going to have to face the Giants. We're going to have to beat them at home and keep our playoff hopes alive. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week against the Giants.